with Joe. Hey, hey thanks for coming back hey, to Kirby, Dallas. Nice to see you. So happy to have you here at DeVid. Kirby, pleasure. So, um, wow, so here we are again. And uh, I guess in this video, we're going to be uh, showing our viewers the first fitting of your kind of bespoke made to measure garment offering. And you just released a really uh, big enhancement, which is this uh, fitting garment yes. that you guys are now including uh, in that standard offer. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And it, you'll see it once we try it on. And, it's very close and we can eliminate most of the errors. It comes out really nice. Yep. So the fitting garment is, you know, in your in your standard offer, which starts at around a thousand dollars. Yes. You know, doesn't include basted fittings like your fully bespoke offer does. Right. But this garment now allows that kind of basted fitting level of accuracy yes. to be offered at what is a really incredible price point. Yes. And it eliminates most of the little errors. Yeah. You know, eighty to ninety percent we get very close. Yeah, a lot of those little errors that would otherwise make it through to a final garment for most other makers. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, great. So let me go, I guess, throw the jacket on. Absolutely. We'll we'll put the there. pants and the jacket. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Okay, terrific. Thanks. All right. I can really want you to try this on. So, the, so here we are. So for those that um, aren't familiar with what we're looking at here, you know, explain to the people watching what exactly this is, because this could actually be a finished suit. You know, it could for be some a finished makers. suit for for some makers. Yeah, this is a, we use a fairly inexpensive fabric, but a nice fabric that you know when people put take it out right of the box, it mm -hmm. pretty much hangs out. They can try it on, but it's good to have it pressed or let it hang for a day before you try it on. And um, basically, it's 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 a fully fused garment just to have the structure of it and um, have the sizing done and the sleeve length and the shoulder width and allows the back us allows us to see all the errors, yeah. catch all the little stuff and see where it binds, yeah. where it doesn't bind. So And the important thing to keep in context is at this price point, which is beginning at a thousand dollars, I mean that's incredibly uh, yeah. you know, that's an incredible value that you wouldn't normally go from measurements to a fitting garment, you normally would go measurement to straight to finish, yes, right? Maybe exactly. with a few adjustments to sleeve length, yes. right? But what this is allowing is an intermediate point to really validate and enhance the, the pattern making and the quality of the measurements. Yes, and you perfect your pattern, you know, it gets yeah. better. And you guys ex travel extensively, so, you know, most of your measurements you guys are probably taking yourselves, but you also have clients that are that aren't able to travel to see you or you don't go exactly. to you know, yeah, Peoria, right. Illinois, right. and they're taking their own measurements and so for that client, you know, you would ship this to them and it allows them actually to validate the measurements and make sure that it's going to produce a garment that's close. Yes, absolutely. And you can check the lapel width so we can keep the lapel width accurate, mm -hmm. what you really need. Uh, we can keep the sleeve width, uh, everything. So you, get, you, you really get a good picture. So remotely, if they receive this uh, suit in the package, they'll open it up, hang it for a day or overnight and try it on and have their wife take photographs of the front the side and the back and close up of the problem areas. Mm -hmm. Let's say if the neck is not sitting right or the shoulder feels wrinkled here or there's too much gathers here, they can take pictures mm -hmm. and send it to me and we I can actually work off those pictures and really change the pattern. Yeah, and one of the things that's really unique uh, about him or Johnny Brothers, my tailor, is that although, I mean, you know, to call this made to measure really wouldn't fully, you know, capture what's justice, being yeah. done here because, you know, with the fully bespoke offer, you guys are actually hand drafting a pattern on paper. This is a digital pattern, but it's being done in a CAD software program. So, you know, you take the measurements, it goes through the block pattern and it produces the base pattern. Right. But then you guys go in and are, you know, really modifying that in the same way that a, a paper pattern would be modified. Absolutely. Sometimes better, sometimes yeah. not. And, and you guys do that totally in house. I mean, you're, you've got a team of tailors, yes. you know, that a do pattern. that, yeah. you know, just for you. Yes, absolutely. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to, you know, go over this and change, you know, put some pins, take some, uh, make some tucks, and yeah. I think you'll see the changes. Yeah, so someone that has an opportunity to actually visit with you, you know, you'd go through this fitting process that we're going to see today. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, you know, of course, in person is better, but they can do it online. Yeah. And we've done, we've been very successful at people sending us pictures, and the final garment comes out really, really good. Yeah. What percentage of people do you think are in-person fittings with this offer versus totally remote? I think it's 50-50 uh, right now. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. We're okay. getting a lot of people online that 
you don't need a tuxedo in a hurry or suit in a hurry, and they're very odd size. Yeah. So, so if I take my measurements and you, you have a form on your website and some videos to help someone know how to take their measurements and send those to you, how quickly can I have one of these fitting garments sent to me? Less than two weeks. You're kidding. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. In and then weeks. after that, okay, so I get this, you know, I, I put it on, I have my wife take photographs, I email those back to you, and then how long until I, I can get the final garment? You should allow me 21 to 28 working days. Okay. So about a month. About a month. So in six weeks, six to eight weeks, I can have a, a really awesome, bespoke you know, garment. kind of semi-bespoke made to measure. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's first on the fitting? I mean, putting it on just right out of the box and yeah. you put it on in the bathroom, you probably looked in the mirror. I mean, yeah, it feels pretty good. How does good. it feel? Yeah, I mean, you know, move around. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, um, I mean, it's definitely a really lightweight garment because it's fused and everything. So, right, right. you know, it feels, I mean, you know, we could put pockets in this and it'd be a great Texas summer garment, or, you know, with the kids. Or, or a rainy day suit. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it feels good. I mean, the length is good. The sleeves are, you yeah. know, really close. Maybe we bring those up a bit. The trousers. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, we went for a, a high waist, waist trouser, and right. those yeah. feel great. And this one is slightly loose. I'll, ch I'll check. I'll go into the finer yeah. details. You know, I'll check it. So, yeah, buttons, and you can just turn around. Let me, yeah, yeah, turn. Yeah, a few things I would change uh, right at the top, and I'll mark it and. Uh, get that going here. Okay. Yeah. Start at the top and work yeah. our way down. Yeah. Yeah. So sure. I guess we'll start with the trousers first. Uh, yeah, yeah, start with the trousers wanna... first. Yeah. Or it's your call. What? Yeah, start with the trousers first. Yeah, go with it. Okay. So, how's the waist feel? Waist feels, I mean, could waist feels tighter. good. It could be a little bit tighter. Okay. Um, but, you know, we went for a high-waisted trouser, yeah. which is you're, you're smaller, really comfortable. Yeah. You like wear it. suspenders or? You know, I, I want it uh, certainly to be able to be worn without braces. Okay. Um, so I would change no more than a quarter inch in the waist. Yeah. How's that feel? It feels good. Yeah, I'm just going to make it drape a little bit better, straight down from the hips. Shortening the overall back length. Back length, just slightly. And this goes to just the balance of the trousers. Balance of the trousers, that's right. And at the same time, relaxing the crotch. Yeah. So whatever we take out from here, we'll add it to the back rise. This way the trouser has a nice, clean, straight mm -hmm. drape in the back. Okay. So you can you have to take a look in the mirror. The back is it. Yeah, so that definitely. So one of the, I mean, one of the hallmarks, so just w walk me through really what you're checking for because, you know, I mean, so many trousers you see really kind of grabbing right here and pulling, but a really well-made pair of trousers, you know, describe to the people watching how those should drape. That's really what we're you know, fixing. Ha have a nice, decent stride, comfortable in the crotch area, you know. Uh, I'll have you sit on a chair to make sure everything is good, mm -hmm. you know, just make sure. Everything but you really want things. it to, to just drop straight down. All, yeah, with a little room because otherwise you won't be able to move. Okay. You know, you want that little curve, a little mm -hmm. bit of extra fabric, but not too much. And that's the benefit of the pleats and being a little bit more highly wasted is you have fabric to allow for drape. That's one of the things I really dislike about uh, unpleated trousers is that there's no fabric across, you know, the seat or the front in order to allow that drape to occur. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you can try a little fuller pant in the non-pleated. Non Drop the waistband very slightly. Okay. 
Turn and shift the pleat slightly. Shift down. the pleat slightly. The pleat should have a nice straight fall in the front. Straight down the kind of the center of line of the leg. Through the, through the straight uh, press in the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will lift it up just a little bit from here. Slight break. Okay, yeah. And we did a, a two inch cuff Right, or what is it, an inch and three quarters? Yeah, but I think two inches will look even better. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Let's, Let's do, do it two inches. Yeah. You know, I'm really enjoying kind of heavier cuffs yeah. these days. Yeah, heavier cuffs and uh, with the sleeve, <coughs> with the heel guard all the way around, so it'll give you a nice weighted mm -hmm. cuff. Okay. How's it feel in the clutch? Spread your legs a little bit. Spread your legs a <coughs> How's that feel? Yeah, that feels fine. Yeah, it's good. It's not baggy. I'm going to have you uh, sit down in the uh, pants and okay. see how it feels. So what am I looking for? You're looking for comfort, sitting down. Uh, you want to make sure. Yeah, okay. Thigh, comfort, and crotch. Oh, nothing, nothing rips. Knee, at the knee also. Careful of these pins. I mean, so it's a little, but I guess I could be just grabbing on my socks. Yes. But it, yeah, but <coughs> nothing's pulling, I mean. Yeah. It looks like yeah, it's filled out completely. Mm -hmm. What about this? I mean, is that just natural? It's just kind of... Yeah, yeah. I would loosen just the knee, just the slight, mm -hmm. you know? It felt when it, it didn't drape yeah. a little bit. It was hugging there. Okay. So we'll add a little bit of circumference at the knee just to... That's it, very slightly. Yeah. Well, and we, and we still have a, you know, it's not a full... I mean, it's full enough to give drape, but it's not, certainly not tight. No, uh, but it's got a nice narrow bottom. It's got a nice, it's got a nice mm -hmm. modern look here. So I can appreciate my shoes. Yes, yeah. And it's going to, when, once you have the wider cuffs, it's going mm -hmm. to look even better. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, and the, what type of pockets? Uh, you'll have the offset pockets. Okay. I should. Yeah, you know? great. Yeah, right now there's no pockets. This mm -hmm. is a fitting garment. So, yeah. But the fitting will be very close. The hips will be very close. Just slightly looser yeah. in the back. And then slightly dropped in the front mm -hmm. so that the pleats fall straight. Okay. So right now it's tending to go down. Mm -hmm in the front, and we'll keep it high in the back. The bitch, yeah. what do you think? Looks, back is clean now. Yeah. Thigh didn't feel tight, right, when you sat? The, the, the thighs? thigh? No. I mean, I guess I would have felt it. Yeah, you would have felt it, definitely. And then once you put the pocket in and everything, does that fill this out a yeah. little bit? It'll fill this out, yeah. definitely. They, all allowances are done already, so you have a little bit of looseness here. Mm -hmm. But that's Enough just to it. allow for the pockets. And the pockets, the wallet in the back, mm -hmm. everything. Length could be shorter, yeah. just a slight break. I think I, I'm going to lift it in the front. Yeah, slightly. Yeah. Okay. Just got to we'll take a look at the jacket. Yes, definitely. And so this is a new addition to your offer. I mean, Absolutely. you know, previously, you know, at this price point, you would have just taken it from measurement straight to finish. Straight and, to finish. <clears throat> and of course, if, I guess if a garment was way off, you guys would have remade it, of course. Remade, of course. Of course. Uh, but this, you know, certainly saves that trouble, they try, but yes. then also allows, you know, a better garment. Yes. So, you know, as soon as you put it on, I can see what I'm going to change. Mm -hmm. It's already in my head, but I'm going to pin those. Yeah, please. You know? uh, and just talk us through it in terms of, I mean, for, you know, those, you know, who are watching that maybe, you know, don't know, especially what differentiates a really right. nicely fitting jacket from one that has some problems. I think. You just want to start off on the shoulders here. So see the balance. Start from the shoulders mm -hmm. and go down and make sure the length is proportionate uh, you know, from the top to the middle, middle to the bottom. Yeah. So it's pretty much, uh, you want to look at that. Yeah. And, and you can have the forward balance. I mean, you can have a jacket that's too far forward. Or too far back. Too far back. Or so you're checking that. I mean, yeah. it should. And you can, you can take a tape and uh, you can see this jacket tends to ride up a little mm -hmm. bit, which I'm going to have it come down. Okay. So you've got a quarter inch of drop there, or mm -hmm. three eighths of an inch coming down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's button it up. Yeah, I mean, you can see how much higher waisted it is. I mean, my tie was tied perfectly for my other pair of trousers, and it's a little long. Yeah. Let's look at it. The top and shoulder width looks really nice here, clean. 
So now always check. wouldn't go any wider or narrower yeah. here. So look at the shoulder width. Yeah. yeah. So the sleeves could be a little bit shorter. Yeah, just a little bit. You can see I marked it. Okay. Quarter shorter, and um, and I think it could the whole jacket could come forward a little bit. Okay. You know, so it'll go up a little bit, mm -hmm. down a little bit here. This one. And how are you adjusting that in the actual pattern? From the shoulder point. So balance between the front and the back. Yeah. It's really controlled at the shoulders. I mean, so the much of the garment from, from the top right is, is, is here. This is your golden circle, everything. Everything. If it's wrong there, it's wrong everywhere. It's wrong everywhere. And uh, I can turn around here. One more. Yep. And just because your right side drops here, I'm going to change the right side just a little bit. In this garment, you can I can put as many pins because we're not going to reuse it. So I can pin it, do whatever I want. Um, and I'm going to change the vent a little bit here. And what are you changing there? Uh, just make sure it falls straighter. <clears throat> So make it false. I'm going to give you a little bit more in the back, slightly. Just a little more room. The sleeve drape is excellent on the left side. The right side has a little bit turn, a little more. Right side has a little bit tightness. And so that's another thing you look for in the sleeve is that whenever your, your arm arms stands. are resting, yeah. that you don't see any bunching at the back. Yeah. And that has to do with sleeve rotation, yeah. but also how the sleeve is cut. Yeah. So you know people, when they go in front of the mirror, they tend to go like this. And when gravity just takes over, yeah, yeah, yeah. The natural stance is best for yeah. the fitting. So right now, when you stand normal, mm -hmm. natural, the, the collar tends to stick away. So I'm going to shorten the collar just a little bit for you. Yeah, so really what you're getting at there is that, you know, the collar of the jacket should really hug the neck. Yeah, not too tight, then you'll have other problems. You'll get a headache by the end of the day if <laughs> okay. it's too tight. Yeah. So, yeah, you want, you want the collar just to sit. But, not but if going it's too far to back like this. Oh, that's not good. Then that's, that's yeah. but you see a lot of guys walking around with jackets and it's, it's like you that. know, it's not even sitting around the neck. Yeah, this one is. It needs to be anchored at the neck, you know. Yeah, just hang on you. Mm -hmm. And here you have your right side drop, so it's definitely a little problem there. So I'm going to take a break later and to rip the sleeves off to mark the armhole. Yeah. So we're going to uh, take a few minutes to take the sleeve off. Okay. Check. But it yeah. feels good. I mean, the length, yeah. I mean, you're happy with the length. I mean, yeah. And I would drop the button just like a very slightly. And I'm going to change the length a little. Yeah. How much will you add to the length? I, I think it'll add from here. Three Okay. Three we'll start from here. Just okay. to drape over the chest. Yeah. yeah. So now you could just walk and move. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, make sure it doesn't pull back too much. I mean, and it'll so sit in. I once I tighten this one, it's going to sit slightly higher too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is your fitting garment. Yeah. This is great. And, and when you see the completed garment, it's we're going to eliminate all of these little errors and you can. Yeah. Move. I mean, this garment is, um, you know, it's, it's it's you know almost spot on. Yeah. Right, so, I mean, you know, if I were to be buying this off the rack in a store, I'd say that this fits great. Yeah. You know. Ready to wear. You know, ready to wear. Yeah. But it's this fitting garment, and of course, you know, kind of the made-to-measure bespoke process that allows you yeah. to really take the pattern and elevate it. Um, enough comfort at the waist, too, important. Not too tight jacket. and not too yeah. Yeah, no, loose. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Some, uh, some, you know, some spacing there. How does it feel? So it feels good. Yeah, I mean, 
I think it. I think it feels great. I mean, with the adjustments that you're going to make, it, yeah, it'll be right on. It'll be right on. Yeah, I like it. Good. We've got a, a nice fitting garment. Mm -hmm. A few improvements I would make. I would change uh, the balance of the jacket to sit a little bit forward, allow you a little bit more room in the back for the curve of your back, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe just drop just slightly. When we see the pictures, I'm going to drop the button just slightly, make the length slightly, uh, it'll come down because I'm changing the balance a little bit, so you'll get it. I think you prefer a little bit longer jacket. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you don't like the new It needs to be clearing the seat. Clearing the seat, and it'll clear the seat. Um, and I think the shaping, the lapel width is excellent. The gorge is really good. It's just the right height. Yeah. It's so not too high, not too not low. Too low. Yeah. And the width of the lapel is good. It'll give you a nice It'll give you a nice roll. Yeah. Eventually. What do you go for in terms of what's your target? Because there's a lot of different opinions on lapel width. I mean, of course, you see the narrow ones, which look terrible. But yeah. you see a lot of the Italian stuff that's like these huge lapels. Four. Yeah. What, the, what the, do you think is the peak elegance? I mean, what do you aim for? I, I think. Uh, I we like, like to, wider in general. Yeah, it's slightly wide. Yeah. Yeah. I like to balance it out to customer's uh, posture, you know, body size, chest size, and. Uh, this is you about know, three and three quarters. Three and seven, eight, three, yeah. So what I mean, do you go for, like, you know, slightly past halfway? Slightly past halfway. Just or three. halfway. Or halfway. Some people like a suit that'll, in the long run, be with the trend. Timeless. Small and wide in between to keep it. And that would be exactly halfway. halfway. Right, not too aggressive and not too narrow. Yeah. So, you know, you have this is very narrow, this is very wide. This is what you see in the new yeah, and stuff. I More know. of a statement piece. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's well, good for some. This is business yeah. appropriate and this still is has a almost timeless. It's yeah. on the wider side, but I think I really prefer you know slightly wider than halfway. You have it right just because right. you have a nice balance. Yeah, and uh, you know you can still tell that you're taking a little bit of a stylistic position, I suppose. Right, and you've got a decent chest. Um, you know, full and are you there. pinching a little bit at the waist? I mean, Definitely, you've got the... Because I've got rather, relatively wide hips. Yeah, mm. you've got the silhouette, you've got the fuller chest here a little bit, you've got the fullness here. Yeah, nice drape. <coughs> we'll um, check the armhole when we take this Yeah, sleeve. and the armhole, the right armhole needs to be dropped a little bit. Okay. The length we got so it. What about the back? The back is very good. I'm going to make sure the vent, because of the your hip line, it's going to... Uh, Slightly more room in the back, across back. the upper back. Yeah, and then the vent is going to fall a little bit straighter. Um, yeah, and turn a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Just slightly tighter collar, slightly, not too much. A little more room for your curve shoulder width is excellent. Yeah. Shoulder width is good, and slightly lifted up just a little bit on the right side. Yeah, that's yeah, great. I think it's good. And so on this garment. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, talk to me a little bit about the construction. I mean, it's still fully floating canvas. Yes. Your, um, I mean, not this one, but not the this finalized. One. Yeah. Your finished garment is going to be full floating canvas. It'll be machine padded mm -hmm. instead of hand padded. That's okay. The that's the only, our that's full bespoke reason. option yeah. offers a hand padded canvas. Okay. Yeah. So that's the lapel stitching, you know, the pad stitching that's going through, attaching the canvas to the lapel that kind of creates that roll, roll. still full it's totally canvas. by hand. Yeah. This is being done, you know, with the blind stitching machine, right. which is how honestly most fully floating canvas, yeah. you know, most high end brands will and will use a machine. Yeah. And, and you know, you can separate the three pieces of uh, canvas, the outer layer, the canvas and the lining. Mm -hmm. So it's, it'll feel as good or and sometimes yeah. for some fabrics it actually feels better than yeah. a fully bespoke. Okay. So it'll drape, it'll feel really, really good. Yeah. And, and we'll, it'll keep the press because we use really nice canvas inside and the canvas is shaped. It's got a lot of machine work also in there. So the okay. canvas has a nice fullness here. You know, it's, got, it's darted in the so right So you're way. using a pre-made canvas but then you're shaping it? Shaping it beautifully with the nice darts in the mm -hmm. right places. The shape is excellent. Yeah. And we use the best available interlining in there. Because full canvas so is drapes, yeah. 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 The cost is doesn't matter at that point. Yeah, you know? at that point, yeah. So it's Ita Italian. It yeah, it's it's well it's, it's a fantastic uh, interlining there. Yeah. Great. So next I guess you'll rip the sleeve off. Rip the sleeve off okay. and uh, if we can check the armhole where it actually hits. Okay. You know, it'll help a lot. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Let's take the jacket off and I'm going to take the sleeves off to check the armhole. This is without the sleeves, and we just want to make sure the arm hole hits properly. So I don't feel it as much now because that the sleeves soft. off. Because it's soft. But I guess we still see yeah. kind of the bunching right there. Yeah. That's it's because this this drapes quite smooth. Straight, yeah. So this one also hits it slightly. Very slightly, though. yeah. What do you look for that is actually not touching it is, you know, it should the underside? Barely of it. touch, just be right there. At this side, and you see it like right, right there. You should. And this feel side it. is less. This side is a little bit tight yeah. on this yeah. side. Yeah. yeah, just slightly, and I'll mark it after that. So you'll open that up a little bit. Open that up a little. Drop bit. it. Yeah. Okay, so it's on the the forward side is really exactly because it's kind of. You know, Drop it slightly in the front. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take back. a picture right there. Yeah. I think here also you can see it. It just hits there. Naturally, your right shoulder drops more than your mm -hmm. left, too. Yeah. So we'll account for that during this process, too. Yeah, this final process. I think it's good. You know, but it a lot of this without. folds will come out as we take the right side up mm -hmm. and release the arm hole slightly. I think black threads everywhere, yeah. poor sleeves. Okay, <laughs> but it's off. It's good. It really helps there. Okay, right? yeah, you can see it. So you do you mark it or you just I will, photograph I it? I just marked it already. Okay, and, and I'm going to photograph it there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? You want to yeah. See the chuck? Yeah. I should mark it at the top. I just marked it here. And here too. Yeah. Yeah. Already marked. Left side is very clean. Slightly more. Yeah, perfect. And will you check these? I mean, I guess you can tell whether or not there's a problem with the sleeve oh, yeah. or the arm's eye without pulling the sleeve off. And then if you see that, you'll take the sleeve off in all your fittings. Right, but it's actually good to see it this way. Okay. It's good. It's nice. So do you do that with most fittings with this most garment? Fit easier to see without the sleeve. Yeah. Without the sleeve? Yeah, easier to see. On your case, especially if the right side drops. Okay. It's better, so you can see it. What do you see, Divij? It's good. Looks good. Very nice. Yeah. It's a nice vested suit. Vested jacket. All right. Great. Well, I can't wait to see the, uh, you know, the suit. So what, what did we choose again for the fabric? It was a... Holland and Sherry, Sherry Cash. Okay. For this sport jacket. Sport for jacket. For this one. Mm -hmm. And a nice pair of uh, blue flannel pants. Okay. The wool cashmere blend for the jacket. Yeah. yeah, great. That's great. And trappers, um, flannel. I can't wait to. Yeah, can't wait to see these. Yeah. So, um, wow, thank you. And this is, you know, this is. I mean, there's an incredible amount of kind of detail and customization here. I mean, you know, that's where, you know, made to measure and bespoke. I mean, it's such a gradient. Yeah. Because again, you know, what you guys are offering with the fitting and trial garment, is, uh, you know, really it's a bespoke experience. Yeah. You know, at honestly an off the rack price. Yes, and it's uh, stress-free, I think. And it's stress-free. It's stress-free, yeah. Yeah, because, because you know it's going to fit. It's going to fit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so anyone that's interested in getting in touch with you guys, um, you know, your full travel schedules on mytailor.com. Or they can call us. Or they can call. Yeah. And, you know, you guys have one of the most extensive travel schedules of any of the guys really traveling around the United States. Yeah, any yeah. major city you can find us. You can find us. So yeah. That's and, great. Uh, yeah, you were just in D.C. You guys, of course, are in New York, Dallas. Yeah. Uh, all right. over the place. Yeah. 
And if we're not there, just let us know. We'll try yeah, to make it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so hey, much. Thank you, man. Joe. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Great. I, I can't appreciate wait to it. see the final garment. Yes. The bid. Thank you. Yes. Thank Always. you. It's fun. Thank you.